This video will show you how to download, set up, and install Denarius Church Management software. First, we go to denarius.com. We click on Free Demo on the menu on the left. We put in our name, our email address, and our phone number. And we select that this is for a church. And select our operating system. And click Get My Demo. We click the Download Now on the next page. And it asks us, do you want us to run or save it? We're going to just say Run. Then we wait for it to finish downloading. Then we get a security warning asking us to confirm we want to run this, so we say yes. We scroll down to the bottom of the license agreement, click accept, then click single user. It has now finished installing the software. Now we're going to start it. The first thing it does is it asks you several questions to help you set it up for your church. So we click next. Uh, we say that it is for a church, but other organizations as well can use this. We are going to use numbered envelopes at our church. We usually accept donations on a Sunday. And we do want to record anonymous or loose donations. And we're just going to call them uh, this loose offering. It asks you now if you want to set up uh, different users and passwords for each. We're not going to do that at the moment. We're just going to go to the next question, which is, do we want to be able to be uh, reminded to do a backup? You never know what can happen to your computer, so we should definitely do backups. So we'll say every four times a software is exited, we're going to do a backup. Then it asks you if you want to be reminded to enter how the donation was made, like, for example, a cash or a check number. The moment we're going to say no, but later we can change this to say we do want to be reminded uh, with or without the number of bills for cash donations. We're going to click next. We now have the opportunity to add donation categories to classify each type of donation. At the moment, we'll just accept the defaults that are in the demo and go to the next question. We can also have the option to use sample donors and donations to test it out. At the moment, we're going to just enter some of our own. The next question is going to be asking us to enter our uh, church information. So we'll just say that this, we're going to call this ABC Community Church. And we're going to say that we are in uh, New York State. Put in our zip code. And we're going to click OK here. But of course, it's going to remind us to check our donor types to see if this is what we uh, do want. We're just going to leave it as default. And it also reminds you to look at the donation categories, but we're also going to accept those defaults as well. Now, this is the Denarius main window, and it is reminding us uh, now that we should enter some new donors or importing them from our previous software. We're going to enter uh, two sample names here. Uh, Mr. John Doe. And we're going to pick a donor type for him as being a full member. And we click Add. And it's going to remind you that you should actually put the address in. But since it's a demo, we're not going to uh, enter the address. Then we want to actually add another person, and we call her uh, Jane Smith. And we pick a, a donor type for her. We'll say that she's a visitor. And we add that. And now that we have the two donor types added. And we're going to go back now to the main window, and it tells you that you should be entering some donation because you haven't entered any yet. 
or we can import them from our previous software. So we'll enter a few donations and we'll say that it's going to be for March the 23rd, which was a Sunday. And we'll say that John Doe gave $25. When we're done, we're just going to uh, entering all the donations. We click done up at the top. We're going to go to the next person either by clicking next here or we can type the first three letters of the person's last name, which is Smith. And we get to Jane Smith. For her, we're going to say she donated $40 to the building fund. It gives you uh, some hint here about how to enter in more than one donation for the same person on the same date. At the moment, we're not going to do that. We're just going to say that we're finished and click done. Now we can display the donations that we've entered by clicking here, choosing donations by donor, for example. And we're going to leave it at the default date, which was uh, the Sunday. And just click OK. And it shows you a list of the two people that donated on that Sunday. Of course, when you try it yourself, you can enter in all the donors you wish and all the donations. And you can do uh, other reports as well. Thank you for watching. If you do want to contact us, you can send an email to question at newverb.com or call 888-479-4636.